Okay. Now I'm uh, going to declare a new function called start generate numbers till some number. Okay. So I would like to have something like variable current equal to zero, variable max equal to n. And I'm going to return an anonymous, anonymous function. And I call it something like if current is less than max, then return current plus plus. Or else always return the current value. Okay. Now. I am going to declare another variable called generate now. You can call anything here. And I am saying generate now equal to start generate numbers till uh, 5. Let us consider. Okay. Okay. Now let us see what's going on. First of all, start generate numbers till is just a normal function, nothing much special. And it's going to have a variable to be accepted as a parameter. And these two are internal variables to the function. So the scope of these two variables beyond the outer function are not going to be a accessible. Okay, so these are local to this function. Okay, so those are not available globally. Okay, so next. Again, after executing, I mean after declaring these two variables, what I am saying is it is supposed to return a function back. So this is our own anonymous function. Okay, so this function is going to be returning a particular value back. So you can see, so once this function is executed, you can see this return is not returning a value. This return is actually returning a function. Okay. And which means once this function has been returned, then we have to execute that function where in such case it is supposed to return the value in this way. Okay, so here what I am saying is if the current value is less than the maximum value, then return the current and at the same time increase the value of the current. Okay, so now I am saying that I generate now is going to get start generate numbers still. So we are going to get this particular value. I mean, we are simply assigning this one to this one. But you have to understand, as I am calling with the parenthesis, this function is going to be executed. So once this is getting executed, this function is returned back to generate now. Okay. Now there are a couple more interesting points. I am saying that current and max are inaccessible at the global level. Why? Because their scope is inside another function. Okay. But now generate now is going to have this function right after this execution of the statement. Which means generate now as it is the direct function here it is going to access current and max variables directly from outside the function. Can you see that? So even though generate now is at the global scope Okay, somehow we are linking this outer variable, which means the global variable, in such a way that it can access the private variables available in some other function, even after the function has been executed successfully. So usually we know that the scope of the internal variables will be immediately lost once the function is executed. Right? Usually once we execute a function, it will be having all the local scope variables to be completely removed out of memory once it has completed its execution. So what I am trying to explain here is, even though these are internal variables and local to another function, those are being accessible outside at the global level to another function. Okay, so another variable. Okay, but the important point what I am trying to make here is, the function has been completed its execution. So even after the completion of execution, the inner variables of that particular function are available globally. 
with the link of an anonymous function. That is the concept called as closure. Okay, so this is uh, uh, pretty much you know a huge discussion in several JavaScript forums. Especially, everyone will be confused with closure and what exactly it is. Okay, so closure is very simple. We are trying to make inner or private members of a function accessible outside the scope even after the completion of execution of outer function. Okay, so that is what is called as a closure. Okay, and now once that is available, now I can say alert generate now okay so and I can call as many number of times as possible okay so this is supposed to give us 0 1 2 3 4 5 and after that it is supposed to return only 5 forever so we have 0 initially 1 2 3 4 5 and it has to stop with 5 okay so uh, now you can see even though generate now is a global variable it is able to access the private variables of inner function even after the execution of that particular function has been completed okay that is what is called as closure okay